I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on counting principles. Let me thank all the viewers and subscribers for watching my videos, posting excellent remarks and sharing beautiful questions. This question comes from one of our subscribers. So let me thank him for contributing in this regard. The question here is, find the number of four digit numbers that can be formed using digits 2, 4, 5, 7, and 8, which are divisible by 4. Part B of this question is, how many of the above will also be divisible by 3? You can always pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. So let's begin with the divisibility rule of 4, right? So what is the rule for divisibility? The rule is that the last two digits should be multiple of four. Okay? That is what the rule is. So we have basically four digits and we are saying that these two combined should be multiple of 4, right? So, so we have to look for combinations for last two multiples of 4. Correct? So that is the basic criteria to begin with. So out of the numbers given, which are for us 2, 4, 5, 7, and 8. So these are the 5 numbers. We have to look for combinations which are multiples of 4 and they can be placed in these two positions. Right? So that is the first step. So let's write down those combinations. So we are definitely looking into 4 places. 1, 2, 3, 4. And at present, we are looking for these combinations. Correct? So multiples of 4 will be what? One could be 24, for example, right? So 24 is a multiple of 4. 6 times 4 is 24. So if 24 is a multiple, 42 is also a multiple of 4, right? Uh, when you do... Uh, 42 is not a multiple of 4, okay? 24 is, okay. But with 2, we have 28 as a multiple, right? So we have 28 as a multiple. Then let's see multiples with 4. With 4, 42 is not a multiple. But 48 is a multiple, right? So 48 is a multiple. Now with 5, 52 is a multiple. Uh, 54 is not a multiple, but 58 is also not a multiple. Now with 7, 72 is a multiple of 4. 74 is not a multiple. 78, if I do 78, is also not a multiple of 4, right? Now let's look into 8. With 8, 84 is a multiple. Correct. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we have 6 multiples of 4. Right. Now we have to see that if we are looking at these two fixed on the last two positions. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 total combinations. Now with 24 fixed, how many numbers can be placed in these two? Well, in these two, we have a choice out of 3, right? So it could be 3 times 2, right? So those are the combinations for each which can be placed on these two once we fix the last two and you get a combination of four numbers is that clear to you right so with that in mind we can actually write down the solution for part a and that is for each we get six combinations right so there are six numbers for each ending with 24 28 and so on which are multiples of 4 and are 4 digit numbers. So the answer here is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 
of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 6 times 6, which is 36, right? So we have 36 numbers. So we have 36 numbers of 4 digits as multiple of 4. Clear? So that is how we are going to solve this part. Now, let's look into part B, which is divisible by 3. Now, what is the rule for that? So if you are taking these four digits, in that case, sum of digits should be multiple of 3. That is the rule, right? So that is the rule. Now we know we have to select out of these. So let's again consider these numbers. So we are ending with 24. We are ending with 28, with 48, 52, 72 and 84. Now we have two more positions to fill. What could be these numbers which could give us addition which is a multiple of 3. Now 2 plus 4 is 6, right? So we already have a multiple 6. So these two we are looking for multiple of 3 and we have a choice between these numbers 2, 4. So we have to now look into back to this, right? Now, so if I have engaged 2 and 4, we are left with 5, 7 and 8. So what numbers could be formed? ending with 24. So 5 and 7 is 12, 75 and 57 can work, right? So 5, 7, 2, 4 is okay. Similarly, 7, 5, 2, 4 is also good enough. So these are combinations which will give you addition. 5 plus 7, 12 and 13, 14 and 4, 18, which is a multiple of 3, 3 times 6, correct? Likewise. So what is, is there any other combination? Uh, can we do 8 and 7? Yes, we can. 8 plus 7 is 15, right? So we could have 87, 24 and 78, 24 also. So as you can see, we have four combinations, right? These are the four numbers. Is that okay, right? Now let's look into 28. Sum of 28 is 10. So if we take away 28, we are left with these. So 10 plus what? 4 and 5 is 9. That is not. 4 and 7 is 11. 10 plus 11 is 21. That works. So we have 47, 47, 28 and 74, 28. That is one possible. Now, 8 and 5 is 13. 13 plus 10 is 23, which doesn't work. So these are the only two numbers. We get 2. 48. 4 plus 8 is 12. Okay, so 12 even. It evens out. Multiple of 3. Now in these, 7 and 5 is 12. It works. So we get 7, 5, 48. And we have 57, 48. Okay, 7, 5 works. So for 2 and 7 also works, right? So we have 27, 48 and 72 48 that also works right so that also works. so these are the four numbers which can work so we have four combinations 52 5 plus 2 is 7 so if i take away 52 7 and uh, uh, 7 and 4 is 11 7 and 11 is 18 that works so we have got 74 52 and 47 52 okay 7, 5 and 2 is 7, okay. If I take 4 and 8, that will not work. 8 and 7, 15, that will not work. So these are the only two combinations. If I take 72, 7 and 2, which is 9, 3 times 3. So we're looking for 4 and 5, 5 and 4, that works. And 4 and 8, 8 and 4, 4 numbers are there. Is that clear? Just as we wrote here, we could write here 45, 72, 54, 72, and we can also write 
72. Perfect. Now with 84, 8 plus 4 is 12. So when I engage 8 and 4, which is 12, we are looking for the sum, which is multiple of 9. So we get 27 and 57, right? So we have 27, 84, uh, 72, 84, 57, 84, and 75, 84. So we have these four. So total is how much? 4, 5, 6, 10, 11, 12, 16, and 4, 20 numbers. Is that clear? So what we get is our solution. The total number of numbers which are divisible by 46 are, uh, by 4 are 36 and by 3 are 20 out of those 36. Correct? So that is how we can actually solve this question. I hope the steps are absolutely clear. Feel free to write your comment, share your views and if you like and subscribe to my videos, that would be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.